news now coming in from Jaipur, Rajasthan, where we are understanding doctors are protesting. The doctors are protesting against the right to health bill. Now they are demanding the withdrawal of the right to health bill. The doctors, as you can see in those visuals, have had an altercation with police officials on the ground. They even tried to march towards the Vidhan Sabha by breaking various barricades. Water cannons have also been used. The police tried to stop them. There was an altercation between the police and the doctors. Huge police deployment on the ground, as you can see on those visuals as well. And there have been clashes between the police and the doctor. That, in fact, still continues. So very dramatic visuals now coming in from Jaipur. This is as far as the right to health bill is concerned, where doctors continue to protest. The police is also trying to contain the situation. They're using water cannons. There has been a slight altercation between the doctors and the police as well. Doctors have been trying to break the barricades, jump over the barricades as well. And that altercation and clashes between the police and the doctors, in fact, still continues. Let's also now bring in our colleague and senior editor, Pallavi Ghosh. Pallavi, help us understand why the doctors are protesting. Yeah. Pallavi, can you hear me? Some, uh, some of them are protesting for cities. And yes, I can hear you. Uh, Elizabeth, if you can hear me, basically the workers who are the health workers, the large health workers, many of them are doctors. They're talking about one jobs, better facilities, and, and, and also the kind of benefits that they gave at health workers. And their grudge is that the state government, despite the fact that they have been bringing it forward to the chief minister's office and the chief minister many a time, no one has also given them a patient hearing. Now, how does it play out? It doesn't play out very well as far as on the uh, ground reality is concerned. If you uh, remember, Ashok Gehlot had just recently presented a budget. And in that budget, a huge allocation was given as far as the health sector is concerned. And just in an election year, seeing these kind of protests doesn't work out very well uh, for the Congress rule state. Right. So, Pallavi, as you said, optically, it doesn't look great for the Gehlot government. Doctors saying that they haven't had a patient hearing with the state government. Any reaction coming in from the state government so far? Well, so uh, as along, whenever this question has been raised, they've always been making the point that that's not true. This is a procedure which takes a little bit of a time. And we have been giving them a patient hearing. And it's not that to, uh, that to accuse the state government or the chief minister's office to be arbitrary and not listening to the concerns of uh, the health workers and the doctors is completely unfair. But, you know, politics and the nature of it is such that this is certainly going to be used by the BJP to hit out at the Ashok Gehlot government. And Pallavi, you know, the trouble for the Gehlot government only has been increasing with the kind of cases that we've seen in the past. There was this entire controversy as far as the Pulwama martyrs were concerned. Now these protests by the doctors. Uh, any reaction coming specifically on the protest today by the state government? Well, not yet, but there have been ministers and spokespersons of the government who have been giving out a reassurance uh, to the fact that, you know, their concerns are going to be addressed by the state government. But, you know, uh, as I said, I mean, these will always be construed as only mere reassurances, which is not being backed up by walking the talk. Uh, and in an election year, and certainly when we see the cyclical pattern of results, as far as Rajasthan is concerned, this is something which the BJP would certainly want to use to their advantage to give yet another example of how the Gehlot administration and government is deaf to the concerns of the common man. Right. And uh, Pallavi, just staying with the visuals, the visuals are getting only dramatic. Okay. We seem to have lost that connection with Pallavi. We'll try and re-establish uh, that connection. But just look at the visuals that we're putting out. These are visuals coming in from Jaipur, whereas Pallavi was pointing out doctors protesting, demanding the withdrawal of the right to health bill. They're saying that these demands are not being heard by the state government. They're not getting adequate time or response by the state government. The state government in its defense saying that these are matters that cannot be solved overnight and they are trying to reach a solution. But as of now, dramatic visuals coming in from on the ground in Jaipur. There is an altercation that's happening between police officials and doctors. Doctors, as we pointed out, they tried to march towards the Vidhan Sabha as well. This resulted in many of them trying to break barricades, jump over the barricades as well, which then eventually led to an altercation between police officials and doctors. Even the deployment of police officials, in fact, has increased on the ground. Police is now trying to contain the situation. They've used water cannons as well. So the clashes between the doctors and police still continues. I believe our colleague Pallavi Ghosh is now back with us. Pallavi, just help us understand what really is happening uh, on the ground and what is the plan as far as those doctors are concerned. 
So we can see as the visuals are being put out, Rizima, over the health workers and the doctors in confrontation with the police, which is trying to calm down the tempers. And the fact that no one is arbitrating on behalf of the state government is certainly going to be used again by the BJP to give an example that whether it comes to the Pulwama Mata's family, whether it comes to the health workers and the doctors, the Gehlot government has scant regard uh, for these common people. And, you know, in an election year, this is certainly going to be used by the BJP very strongly against the Gehlot government. Uh, it's almost virtually a lame duck government because they just have a couple of months to go as far as remaining in power is concerned. Uh, the Gehlot budget had a lot of allocation as far as the health and the social welfare sectors are concerned. And that's this, when these scenes are played out on the streets, uh, this is what is the BJP is going to counter, that the budget was, in any case, not much of a show. It is all promised and all words, nothing of which actually gets reflected on the ground. Okay, Pallavi, we leave the conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. This is a developing story. We'll keep a close eye on it for now.